Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm 21 years old and I had a stroke when I was 15 years old. I woke up around 1 a.m. and I couldn't move. I was laying in my own vomit and I couldn't speak. Somehow I reached my cell phone and called my mom and I couldn't really get any words out but she knew to come downstairs and check on me. I went to the hospital and they actually at first thought that I overdosed on drugs. So that took some time for them to talk to my family, make sure I wasn't on drugs. After they realized that it was a stroke, they found out that I had a clotting disorder and it's called a protein S deficiency and they also found out that I have a hole in my heart it's called a PFO. The blockage I had in my brain was back here and it was called a basilar artery thrombosis and so I wasn't receiving any oxygen to my brain and it was almost completely cut off. It was a really long road to recovery. I had to learn how to do everything again. I even had to learn how to swallow my food. I wasn't on a regular diet. I can only have clear liquids and they had to put this stuff in it to thicken it up. And I had to learn how to swallow, write, go to the bathroom by myself, get dressed. I had to literally learn how to do everything, not just walking, not just talking, not just using my hand. I had to do the littlest things that I couldn't do for myself anymore. I remember I was in the hospital and I was crying and I really wanted something and no one knew what it was because I couldn't verbalize it and they said oh here let me get you a pen and paper so I can show you and I was thinking in my head oh great finally like I can do this and I went to go write and I couldn't do it it was just all scribbles and it was so discouraging because I was so excited to finally get that one little thing that I wanted and I couldn't even do that or get that because I couldn't write, I couldn't even write my name. So I decided to go into the medical field because I just want to help people and I want them to be aware of the situations that can occur and that's why I'm speaking today because even though my experience was a horrible one to go through, I hope that someone learns a message or realizes and sees the signs and says, oh, maybe I should go to the doctors and push for what I think is wrong and receive the care that I deserve.